Hello, my name's Mrs Batchelor and I'm Head of English and Media Studies at Hitching Girls School. I've just made this short recording to take you through some of the key aspects of A-level English literature um, and give you a little bit of an overview as to which text you'll be studying and also your bridging project. So I hope you find this useful. You will have two teachers um, at A-level for English. You'll have nine lessons a fortnight, as you probably already know, and the lessons will be divided between those two teachers. This year, in year 12, there will be myself and there'll be Mrs Pierce, and we'll be teaching you the set texts and the NEA um, as a team. You'll be studying the AQA specification A, and it's important that you recognise that there are two specifications for English literature. So just be aware that if you're looking anything up um, on AQA, or if you're looking at buying any revision guides for the course at a later date, we are studying specification A, just to be clear with that. The course is made up of two exams and one piece of non-exam assessment, one NEA. Paper one is where we start and it's called Love Through the Ages and it takes us on a really nice journey through literature starting right the way back in medieval times with Chaucer and through to the present day. And you'll notice that the, the theme of love that's um, underpinning the whole of this paper is huge. It's really broad. So you'll be able to study lots of themes and big ideas under that broad umbrella. We'll start by studying The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and Othello by William Shakespeare. And then you'll move on to look at some poetry in an anthology rather like you had at GCSE, an AQA anthology. And we study the pre-1900 poetry. You will eventually be comparing your Great Gatsby novel with the poetry. And Othello, our Shakespeare, is taught as a single text. You'll start the course with these two, Othello and The Great Gatsby, so it's a good idea to get hold of copies of these, and any copy will do, just make sure that they're complete and unabridged. Both of these are the copies that I personally have got of the two of them. Paper two is Modern Times. It's a, another three-part exam paper. And you'll notice here that you're looking at much more um, modern pieces of literature. The, the, the full paper title is 1945 to present day. So you'll notice 1945, the end of World War II, is where we start this. And again, lots of big themes and ideas that you'll encounter along the way. This exam is slightly shorter than Love Through the Ages, which is a three-hour exam. This one is two and a half hours long. Um, and you'll study a collection of poetry by Carol Ann Duffy called Feminine Gospels. You'll study Alice Walker's brilliant novel, The Colour Purple. And you'll study Tennessee Williams' play, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. And a little bit like with paper one, you'll be expected to compare, this time, your novel and your play, so The Colour Purple, with Tennessee Williams. There is an unseen section in both papers and so of course our wider reading is a huge part of the course um, and so as well as our six set texts which you can see on here there is a range of other reading that you'll and another great literature that you'll encounter along the way. Which brings me to our NEA. The NEA is 20% of the course. It's an independent critical study. We study Frankenstein altogether as part as, as a choice for the NEA if you wish to use it. Um, and the way we look at Frankenstein is slightly different to your set text. So it's not an exam text, Frankenstein. We look at it to explore it in context and to think about um, so I suppose secondary reading and critical reading and we get used to research and to theory and so on. Alongside that you'll be doing your own wider reading and I put a picture of a journal and a pen on here because it's a really good habit to get into to start making notes as you read and to record sources and ideas and anything it might make you think because if you start your wider reading now even, but definitely at the start of year 12, you'll find when you come at the end of year 12 to start thinking about your NEA, you've got a wealth of text to choose from. You'll also really enjoy reading, and I hope that's why you've chosen the course. Your bridging project has a list of wider reading starting points for you at the end of it, but it's designed to help you get a head start with reading one of your set texts as well, and that is, as I've already said, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. 
You'll also have a short essay to write that will give us an idea of your understanding of that novel before we start teaching it um, as a class. And I'm your key contact. There's my email address, which is also on the bridging project. Should you have any further questions about the project or about the course as a whole, do get in touch. Task one is the reading task. So it won't take you very long. It's a very short novel, so it's more than manageable across one week. And like I said, it's the first of the set text. You can see the film poster there. There is a brilliant um, Baz Luhrmann film that you might enjoy watching, but I'd suggest you watch it after reading the novel. It's no substitution to watch the film for the novel, as I'm sure you're aware, but it's a lovely adaptation, very modern adaptation that I think you'd enjoy. Task two is an analytical essay, so something that you're all very used to doing, and that's what I want you to do. I want you to show us what you can already do. So once you've read The Great Gatsby, um, you're going to answer this essay question in a short essay of about two to three sides of A4, either typed or handwritten. It's important that you plan it and build that planning into your one to two hours that you that you spend on it. You'll submit the essay to us in your first lesson and you will get a grade and some feedback for it, although you're, you and I are both aware that this is very early days. So the title is Gatsby is not in love with Daisy, but with what Daisy represents, to what extent do you agree with this statement? And I hope you can see in that the element of debate, which is a key part of English literature. There will be lots of opportunities. In fact, your lessons will be built around opportunities to discuss in small groups, the whole class, to think, to prepare your thoughts ahead of lessons um, and to play with ideas. You'll notice that I've written, don't worry about getting it right. This is about what you think. And that's so important to us as your teachers in English literature and hopefully to yourselves as well. There are ways of reading. And that doesn't mean that one person's opinions are the right opinions all the time. So have, have fun with your reading. I hope you enjoy the novel and also have fun with your writing. And like I said, we'll take those in from you in our first lessons. Lastly, your wider reading ongoing throughout the course, just get a head start. That's your task three. So once you've finished your, your key part of the bridging project, your submitted part of the bridging project, just enjoy some good books. There are um, the set text for year 12 in bold, which I've already gone through, and you'll see the other texts on there too for paper two. Um, like I said, buy the first two, get hold of the first two, but don't worry so much about getting your paper two text yet unless you want to. There's no expectation that you'll have read all of them before the course starts. Um, you should be aware that there might be some slight changes, but it's very, very unlikely at this point in the course. I think that we're, we're very decided now that these are the texts that we're going to be teaching. And uh, you can read more than this list if you want to. So just remember what I've said already. You are expected to read widely and independently. And hopefully you've chosen English literature because that's something that you'll enjoy doing. So do enjoy. I hope that you get a chance over the summer to encounter some texts and some writers and some ideas that you maybe haven't encountered before. Um, and I'm looking forward to meeting you all when you start the course. So that's it for now. Like I said, do get in touch if there's anything more that you need to know. Thank you very much. Bye bye.